This segment will bring on different people because we can all learn from different perspectives. This will focus on hearing from different artists and creators to help amplify their voices. We'll focus on talking to friends from the local comedy scene because one of the goals of this show is to entertain. Now, DC native, shout out to Duke Ellington. D Dave Chappelle's latest Netflix special has set off a storm of controversy. The closer includes several jokes about trans people that some found deeply offensive. Netflix has stood by the special even after it was criticized as transphobic by some LGBTQ plus advocates and even Netflix's own employees who staged a walkout. Now, I brought in comedian and actress Frankie French to discuss what we should take away from all of this. Here's part of that conversation. What do you make of this whole situation? I am not a trans person and that's not my experience. So I don't really have the right to say what is or isn't offensive to that community. It's like a white per or a non-black person saying what is or isn't racist, okay? That said, in my personal opinion, being a member of the general LGBTQ community, I did not feel like it was transphobic. And I also felt like at the end, he clarified where he was coming from when he said, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about racism, mm -hmm. um, which made a lot of sense to me. I've had many, many experiences with non-black members of the LGBTQ community where I was called names that are very uncomfortable, very disrespectful, racial slurs. So I think that a lot of the topics that he touched on, maybe it wasn't the right way uh, for some people. Maybe it was offensive. Uh, but I didn't personally take offense. What's interesting to me, Frankie, is how we seem to break down and dive in and deconstruct people's comments regardless of the context and regardless mm -hmm. of who it comes from. And so as a comedian, you are then kind of required to meet the standard of say like a, like a politician. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting and curious to me that there seems to be kind of this same bar for everybody for what is acceptable to say. So then I'm wondering where do we go from here comedy wise? As comedians, that's the job is to say the words. The job is to get out your point of view. The job is to be funny. And if you have an audience and you're entertaining that audience and you're speaking whatever your truth is, you have a right to say that. And I, I've seen comedians who are, that I know personally, who are racist, who get on stage and say things and I'm like, oh, okay, they, that's intentional. They are trying to be divisive. Do I like it? Absolutely not. Of course I don't. At the same time, if we start telling comedians what we can and what we cannot say, what does that mean for me? As long as you're not truly inciting violence against people, speak your truth. We're not always going to like what people say. And, and comedy, it, it is an art form. It's subjective. And we can't start censoring it. That, that just, that's not, a, it's just not a good, it's a very, very slippery slope. Look at Pryor, look at Carlin. Where would we be in comedy if we were censoring those guys? Seriously, think about that. Where would we be in comedy if we censored Eddie Murphy? He's an icon. That man is iconic, but go back and look at his body of work. I don't think it would hold up today. So, you know, it's a very slippery slope. I, I think it's dangerous to try to censor comedy. I don't think that that's a good idea. Now, you can catch Frankie every Monday for a podcast, Nonprofits, at 3 p.m. on the Comedy Hub Twitch channel. And if you're a Curb Your Enthusiasm fan, make sure you keep your eyes out. She's set to make an appearance on the new season. All right, ahead on.